Hey kids! Hey, uh, so nice to see you again. Uh, thank you for your support for my channel and for uh, the announcement of my book. I'm really excited about um, getting that out and getting it into your hands. So I just wanted to say a, a sincere thank you for the great response that I had to that. Um, so today, um, I've actually seen recently on my channel people asking, uh, a couple people, and so I thought I'd just go ahead and do it, um, how to put up a paper towel holder, or sorry, a toilet paper holder, and uh, like a towel rack, um, they kind of work the same way. And if you've never, you know, dealt with them before, the way they work is they have these little, um, these little screws at the bottom that they do such a good job of hiding. Um, that's what's holding them up. There's a little attachment on your wall and then you put this on and then you screw these things, these little screws in to tighten it down. Um, <laughs> they do such a good job of, hiding them because you don't want to see them you know they don't want to be noticeable but they kind of hide them from you if you've never seen if you know you didn't know how they were installed they do such a good job of hiding them that um you don't know they're there so uh anyway i remember you know way back when when i first discovered them i was like oh okay that's pretty clever but yeah so anyway and they're all kind of designed that same way anything that has a bar running across it um you know like this it has a spring so they're uh, but like a towel rack, it's kind of just wedged in between there. A lot of towel racks, you know, so this is going to be uh, for the most part, right? Not every towel rack's uh, going to be designed this way, but most paper, there are most toilet paper uh, roll holders are. And so anyway, so we're going to, we're going to do that. But, but, but first I have a dad joke for you. So someone broke into the local police station and stole the toilet. The cops have nothing to go on. Ah. So let's get started. Okay, so here's a pretty normal uh, toilet paper rack and uh, a towel holder works the same. These are pretty common. There's a little variations like uh, what you unscrew it with and I'm gonna show you that. So this one, this particular one um, is a little flathead screwdriver, but it's hidden up underneath here. They hide them obviously so, <laughs> so they don't stick out. So it looks nice, but uh, but some people don't know that they're there <laughs> when they need to replace them, right? So obviously, um, you know, if your kid is here and he's hanging on it, it's not meant for that. It's meant to hold a roll of toilet paper, right? Or a, or a towel. Again, the towels work kind of the same way. So I don't think you necessarily need to get into a stud with one of these, but let me show you how, how these are mounted. And it's pretty common, like I said. So just... Remove that, and then just right up underneath here, you've got some screws. Let me get it started, and then I'll back off here. Okay. So basically, I'm just unscrewing it there. Like that. And that's it. That's what those look like underneath there. So basically, then you got a couple screws, right? And I think all I did here... Let me grab my drill is I just, I think I just used my sheetrock screws. I did. Come on. Yeah, so you can see, I just used my sheetrock screws here for that, right? And so all that, all that happens is this just mounts there like that, and then those covers go over the top like that, and then uh, you just tighten it up underneath. And I'm going to show you my other one, my other bathroom, because it's just a little bit different. This one's a flathead. The other one uses an Allen wrench underneath, but that's where those are. And that's what that mount, pretty standard, how that looks on a toilet paper rack, on a towel rack, anything that's like this. Um, so if you're installing it for the first time, you do got to figure out, you know, the distance between so that this thing sits in here and springs good, right? Um, but anyway, that's how those work. If you got one up there already, you just gotta look underneath and figure out how to unscrew it. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you this, um, how this mounts, right? So again, just got your sheetrock screws. If you can, I think if uh, with a paper or with a towel holder, uh, probably paper towel holders, <laughs> some paper towel holders would work the same way too. But anyway, if you got something that's gonna have, have to hold a lot of weight, it would be nice to get into a stud if you can on at least one side, right? But if you can't, these things work really well, and as long as your kids aren't hanging on them, <laughs> you should be fine. So basically, we're just going to put that in, put this one in here, 
Okay. And then we can screw that in. Like that. And then this guy just fits over the top like that. And then that screws back in from the bottom. Actually, let me show you this. So this is what's going on here. You can see there's a this little screw right here, right? That's just kind of popping up in there and just holding it. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that back on. And it's just clamping up underneath this thing, right? There's a little bevel here and it just screws right up in to hold it. Okay. I think that little door key that I used <laughs> To unlock your bathroom door would probably work for this one too, but anyway, that's how that works. So I just snug it up. There you go. And then I put this back on and let's see here. And <laughs> since I'm here, uh, this is how I put a roll of toilet paper on for you kids. Uh, <laughs> so put the roll where the, um, this might be fights in your, <laughs> in your marriage. So. Just in case, this is this is where I, I weigh in on this. This I want to come over the top, right? Because if you put it the other way, like this, you're fighting for where the where the roll is, right? Or where it ends. Where if you do it this way, then it comes out and it comes off right off the top. Okay? Then you pull it, you tear it, it's always there. If it's on the back side, then you might be looking for it. So Okay, you see this screw right here? That's what we're trying to do, right? And the, on the other one, it's an Allen wrench, but this is what we're, it, see how it's a flat head and you're basically just unscrewing it and then that pops that off and then you screw it back in once you have it, have it mounted. So I just wanted to show a close up of that. Okay, the way this one works is it's an Allen wrench, okay? So an Allen wrench just looks like that, okay? And you can buy these sets differently. They come, uh, sometimes they come like this, where it's, uh, it's all, they're all stuck together like this and you just pull them out and use them. But for this particular one, it makes it awfully hard to get to it and, and work it around with this big fat thing at the bottom. The nice thing about it is you don't lose Allen wrenches because <laughs> they're all here, right? Um, and this one uh, is part of a set um, and the set actually has lost a couple. Um, I'm sure I just didn't put them back. So, uh, but it sure is handy. It's a lot easier to work these with, with this style. Cause I don't got that big handle fighting it, right. To move it back and forth. So let's go ahead and remove that guy. Okay. And then stick that up there. And you can turn these around, right? Depending on the situation, you can turn it and use the long one, or you can use the short one. They're kind of nice. Have to fight with it a little bit, but you'll get it. Okay, so it's off. And again, it works the same way where it's got that little thing. It's got that little screw at the bottom, right? In this case, it's an Allen wrench. And that just fits over the top like that, and then screws in, okay? All right, so I hope that was helpful for you. You know, those little hidden screws up underneath there. If you don't know they're there, yeah, and now you know. Uh, you know, and if uh, if you are mounting it to sheetrock and, you know, your kids hang on it, um, it's going to fall <laughs> fall down probably, right? So you might have to move it. Um, and, uh, and if it's only going into sheetrock, you probably might have to patch those holes and move it over just a little bit so you get, um, you know, a good solid grip into the new sheetrock. Um, yeah, and, and on a longer one, like I said, um, you want to try to get into a stud maybe on one side at least, um, if it's going to hang, hang more weight. Um, it's not a monkey bar, so it's <laughs> not meant to hang on it, but it will hold up a towel, right? Um, anyway, so I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.